Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds That try to tear you down Why they want to tell Aries! Gang, 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 gang Did you miss me? I'm getting this motherfucking video done on April the motherfucking 19th. This has been a fucking fast-paced birthday season. But happy birthday to all my motherfucking gang gang members. Both March as well as April. I'm sorry I'm twatted to the party. But when the fuck are we ever on time? Okay? Some of my Aries who got Earth and they twat and they risings. Y'all be on time. But the rest of us, bitch. <sighs> better late than never. Okay? Y'all know damn well I didn't forget y'all. I don't love y'all any motherfucking less. Alright? But before we even get into all of that or whatever. Because you know we don't stay that we acknowledge it and we don't stay there. We keep it fucking moving, okay? And Aries, for some of y'all, it's a lot of people bothered by that particular uh, way of being that you're exuding, okay? A lot of people know that you the motherfucking shit. They mad that you know you the shit and you acted accordingly, all right? Happy motherfucking birthday, gang, all right? Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to you happy birthday dear gang gang happy birthday to you gang gang <laughs> ram hey gang we in this in this thing i said up uh, ram uh, gang we in this in this thing I said up uh, ram uh, gang. We in this in this thing I said up uh, ram uh, gang. We in this in this thing I said hey what you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries? We be trying to we be talking about them Aries. Gang gang gang. Turn up for Aries. Shake that pop that crank up. Turn up for Aries. Gang we in this motherfucking thing. You understand me? Hey, boo, hey, if this is first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time to my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depend on what the hell, how the hell this motherfucking lick read within this energy. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you right goddamn now, you got to get the hell up out of here, okay? Because the way I'm set up, this my shit. I'm going to do that, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the donations, you guys, the readings, the love, the support, the birthday wishes, all that. I humbly appreciate it from the most humblest space ever, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of my family, you guys. Thank you for just coming with that positive energy. Thank you for your patience, which is some new shit. Look up. Oh, y'all new, new, boo. I see you. Okay. Thank y'all. I really appreciate it. All right. Also, this message ain't going to resonate with every damn Aries. Okay. Take what does leave the rest if that motherfucking shit was too big. Don't try and put that motherfucker on. Your ass going to fall. Period. All right. Also, this will resonate for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Cross watchers at um, Aries in the North Node as well, or whatever the hell Aries is in your motherfucking chart and it's resonate. All right, um, I'm also picking up. Oh, okay, hold on, before we even crank that up. Um, and oh, new subscribers. Hey, boo, hey, <laughs> new to the family. All right, we a little dysfunctional. All right, sometimes we late or whatever, but we coming, bitch. We coming. All right, but <laughs> welcome to the family, y'all. All right, we don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Okay. We do cuss, we share, we grow, we love, we laugh. We fucking uplift one another. Positive vibes, only positive type things, all right? Welcome to the family game. Also, um, what else did I want to say to y'all? Come with y'all motherfucking birthday. Happy birthday, gang. All right? So let's get into it, y'all. The spiciness, okay? Um, Aries, I kept getting that. Some of y'all could definitely be like doing a lot of dancing, a lot of movement. I felt very motherfucking upbeat doing y'all reading. I felt very happy, okay? That's actually one of the songs that I got for you guys for real. Happy, okay? Also, I did get motherfucking uh who who, who sing that? That's my boy. Mm, mm, mm. 24 carat mm, 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 in the air. Man, cause I'm so player. Hey, uh, look out. Mm, mm, mm. Bruno motherfucking Mars, alright? 
Aries, I definitely picked up on this energy of renewal with you guys. I also heard launching, okay, fresh starts, all right? This, oh, by the way, this will be a motherfucking timeless reading that we gonna fucking name for April, but it's timeless. From here on out, these readings are timeless because I read energy, okay? I'm a psychic medium, but I also am an intuitive reader, and I definitely pick up on energies. I do as I'm guided to do, not what the fuck y'all expect me to do, all right? For those of you who are new, new subscribers, bitch, if you gonna know me, get to know that I don't move like the rest of these motherfucking readers. Never have, never will. That's not my team, all right? So just stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe, hit that motherfucking bell so you get it, all right? So let's get it. Back to it, all right? Also, ADD, Aries, I am picking up on finishing what you started, okay? For some of you all, this have to do with you actually having the energy to actually get up and get creative, get in tune with whatever it is that you're trying to create and get more stra uh, strategized when it comes to executing a plan, all right? Um, I am picking up on also outside distractions, ex uh, external distractions. Some of y'all are really needing to set boundaries or some of y'all could definitely be setting boundaries when it comes to your creative space or your energy to create. I'm also hearing... Um, Okay, so I'm also hearing expansion within the crown chakra. A lot, a lot of focus on studies, okay? Expanding your knowledge, expanding your consciousness, okay? I'm also hearing intergalactic beings. Some of y'all Aries could be studying the stars. I'm hearing children of the stars, all right? Some of y'all could definitely have Aquarius within your chart. I'm also picking up on heavy astrology energy as well. Some of you guys could be astrologers. Some of you guys could also be studying astrology, pretty much trying to break down your own fucking chart. I did pick up on trying to understand the energy at B, okay? I also picked up, I, I, I keep hearing congratulations, Aries. So some of you guys could actually, could have recently experienced some type of like major ascension or could be like graduating uh, from some type of major ascension. I did pick up, okay, so I also heard graduation. So some of you guys could literally be graduating. Congratulations, boo, okay? I also heard um, unexpected pregnancy, okay? Some of you guys could be stressed about the future when it comes to a child because like a child being here I'm so, a child being born for some of you all this could actually be taking place because you're experiencing some type of separation with someone I do pick up on things being I'm hearing amicable amicable agreements okay I'm also picking up on negotiation so if this have to do with like child care custody or like the custody uh, the custody of a child with another parent I am picking up on negotiations okay or renegotiating someone could also be wanting to renegotiate your motherfucking coins that they had fast paying for child support Aries it's a no for me dog all right somebody's avoiding taking accountability for their lack thereof and I am hearing the proof is in the pudding this person is experiencing chaos everywhere in their motherfucking life and this person could be trying to project that on you and be an emotional fucking bully but every said i i <laughs> not today bitch <laughs> not me all right i definitely picked up on the energy of standing in your power standing up for yourself also moving toward what really fulfills you and and, and, I, and I am picking up on like i'm hearing non-stop all go okay all gas all green go Alright, so some of you guys, this could be all gas, no motherfucking break. Some of y'all are really focusing on what it is that you're wanting to lunch. I'm also picking up on the energy of LLCs. So say LLC, so congratulations, okay? I got y'all energy, y'all, and y'all know I talk fast naturally, but for some of you all, I'm picking up on this energy of like you guys moving really fast. Like someone is really trying to get something lunch. Be very careful to take your motherfucking time, whoever I'm picking up on this, especially if it's involving paperwork, because I feel like you're going to overlook something. Whoever I'm connecting with with this, you have water in your chart very heavily. I'm also picking up on also the the tuning like tuning into your emotions Aries to get some type of answer or clarity. Also accepting the fact that you're not going to get that motherfucking apologies because these people are that that apology because this person, these people, these individuals are not cut from the motherfucking same cloth. Some of you all are teaching people how to motherfucking treat you by removing yourself, rem limiting their fucking access. I am hearing family, friends, everybody, all right? Some of y'all Aries may be also fasting from social media or there's a need to I also picked up on someone trying to hack into your social media accounts. Aries, change your password. It's always a hating motherfucker in the backgrounds, hiding in the motherfucking bushes or underneath your car. Stalking ass fucking Jimmy. Timmy. Fuck, Jakeisha. 
My history is motherfucking dealing with people. Anything with an Isha in it, I love you if you got an Isha in your name, but you a whole fucking problem, honey, okay? Which is my opinion, okay? Then you, let's move the fuck on. All right. Um, I'm also picking up on the unveiling, okay? So some of you all, this could be some type of gender reveal, all right? Some of you guys are not wanting to know the gender of your child. And this could also be upsetting someone else. Like some of y'all definitely have like prying ass family members. Some of y'all people are upset because you gave them what they wanted. When you were in their energy, they complained, they complained, they complained. You gave their ass what the fuck they wanted by removing they self, by removing yourself. And these motherfuckers are still mad. Aries. You just can't please every motherfucking body. Everybody's not going to like the boss. But it doesn't take away from the fact that you're the motherfucking boss. So move accordingly, okay? I feel like for some of you all, there is... I mean, I am picking up on this energy of like walking on eggshells, Aries, okay? So for some of you all, you're wanting to end a situation with a particular person or a particular group dynamic. Or this could even be walking away from a job. But for some of you all, you're a slave to your loyalty. So you don't know how to remove yourself from a situation that you don't feel fulfilled in. Some of you all are holding on to, I'm hearing, lost hope when it comes to a particular relationship. It's like you love someone and you really want them to grow. But for some of you all, you have to accept. It's something about acceptance with you all. Acceptance and surrendering. For some of you all, you on the motherfucker, you in the midst of the flow with that. And allowing things and allowing the chips to fall where, they're, where they may. But for some of you all, I am picking up on the energy of like, I'm hearing obsess, obsess with the outcome with the, obsessed with the desired outcome, but you're not allowing spirit to truly like really put things into alignment as they are trying to fall into place. I feel like some of y'all, you're trying to force some shit that just is not really in alignment with where God is really taking your motherfucking life. I am hearing elevation, okay? So for some of you all, this could actually have to do with you elevating within a company or you choosing to motherfucking walk away because you feel as if you're not getting paid your work. But I feel like this is all a catalyst to make you see every fucking area in your life where you haven't been honoring your words, honoring your emotions, okay? Big emphasis on tapping into the emotions, the heart chakra, the expansion of the heart chakra. Some of y'all may be, um, some of you all are empaths. I'm also hearing clairsentient. Some of you all have the ability to feel other people's emotions. And I feel like for some of y'all, you're really needing to cover your motherfucking head because other people's emotions are really overtaking you. Some of y'all also are in this space of stagnancy, waiting on someone's. Yeah, some of y'all. Okay, so I am hearing lost hope. This could be involving someone who could be a Leo, a Sagittarius. Some of y'all got another fire sign mad at you because you didn't move the way they expected you to move. This individual is a fucking narcissist. I'm also picking up on someone wanting to pop up out the motherfucking woodworks because they see you being successful. Like somebody left your ass for dead. And this individual, I'm going to be very honest, I literally hear couch hopper. So I feel like whoever this person is, they go from relationship to relationship. This person doesn't finish what they start. And I feel like at one point, the tie that you had to this individual, I did hear trauma bonding. But for some of you all, this person, I heard this person, this person, this person liked the old you. I feel like you're evolving and it's making a lot of people around you very motherfucking uncomfortable Aries. Some of these individuals, I'm also hearing somebody, some of y'all got people getting fucking readings on you. Some of y'all have a very obsessive ass water sign. This person just won't fucking let it. They got to ask Ilsa how to let it, like, let it the fuck go. They don't want to let it go. I feel like for some of y'all, this could even be someone who you could like, you could have like stopped talking to this person like within the last three to five years, but someone is still obsessively stalking you. I'm also hearing something regarding your IP address, tracking device, location. Like someone could also be trying to like actively like stalk your location for some of you all. This is a fucking warning when it comes to locking your motherfucking doors and really like watching how the fuck you move. Especially if you're elevating within status. I am hearing music, okay? And for some of y'all, this is somebody who you motherfucking know. Like a friend that feels entitled to your motherfucking blessing. Someone was with you fucking shooting in the gym. But this person chose to remain toxic and you want to grow. You see better for yourself. Somebody was bad for business is what I heard, alright? Some of y'all areas really need to go. I am picking up on a lot of... Um, a lot of focus with the, when it comes to the digestive system. Some of you guys could choosing be choosing to like 
remove certain uh remove certain toxins from your from your diet i'm also hearing spiritual teachers some of y'all are spiritual teachers i feel like some of y'all could also be teaching teaching about holistic health or connecting back to the land when it comes to um i'm also hearing agriculture so some of you areas could be wanting to grow your own um crops herbs I'm also hearing medicinal, okay? So some of y'all could be wanting to fucking... I see somebody actually uh, investing or thinking about investing in some type of like um, grow house. Or putting their money in with a grow house or some type of like weed operation. I'm even seeing somebody thinking about making their own strand. Their own strain. I'm literally hearing weed education. I'm also picking up on something... Okay, so I'm also hearing DMT. Be very careful with that. Okay, so some of y'all Aries, I'm also hearing, okay, Egyptian symbology, sigils. I'm also hearing runes. Some of you all are tapping into some very ancient magic and you're extremely powerful. Just make sure that you know what you're doing and also make sure that your intent is positive. I feel like if Aries, if, if someone was trying to slow you down, like some of y'all getting a fucking front row seat to somebody's fucking karma. I'm also hearing someone could also could have been behind the scenes trying to stir the pot. Like someone's trying to defame you or decredit you. Be very careful if you are someone who... Um, if you are a spiritual teacher, if you work um, with like doing readings, if you do like any type of healing work for someone, be careful of somebody trying to like exploit your gifts. Like I feel like someone that you know is acting like a client or some shit like that. Like this person is trying to like, I feel like somebody's trying to get close to you to see all that you know. This could definitely be somebody or a friend that you cut off. I feel like somebody who you who you cut out of your life is using one of their like coworkers or their friends to contact you, give you a bunch of fake ass information just to be like, aha, like Aries don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Like, be very discerning on who you give your services to. I'm also picking up on someone, um, like ordering your services or like rent like when you render your services like somebody trying to say that like you didn't you didn't give them what it is that they paid for some shit like that especially if you sell products all right so we're gonna go ahead and um okay hold on i heard a kashik past life some of you all are supposed to be teaching about the origin of hoodoo voodoo some of you all also could also be I'm hearing decoding, okay, decoding of like doctrine or various doctrines as it pertains to religion. I feel like some of you guys are trying to, I'm hearing master, okay, the mass, like, the, like the mastery of like doctrine or I'm also hearing like, some of y'all also could have some type of like, or be descendants of like high level masons. This could also be some type of, um. Some type of initiation within like masonry. Or some of you all, this is being offered to you as well. I'm also picking up on the energy as well. If like, okay, some of y'all are mediums and I feel like. Be very careful what it is that you're summoning areas, especially if you don't know too much about it. Because I am hearing, I'm hearing deities. I'm also hearing Odishas. But I am picking up on some of y'all need to really like give your, if you make a deal or you choose to work with an Orisha, make sure that you are literally, like, like that you make time to give them their offering. Because I definitely feel like some of y'all, some of my Aries, yeah, you, you're needing to get back on track. Or, or create some type of schedule when it comes to making time for your ancestors, communicating with your ancestors. For some of you all, your ancestors are cautioning some type of connection or some type of reconciliation from your past. Possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like someone wants to reconcile with you for their own fucking ego purposes. I feel like someone feels that internally feel that you out they motherfucking league, but they want to show they self, that they self can still like gain access or gain your trust somebody's like looking to take something from you Aries okay Ooh. for my Aries who recently lost somebody okay I am picking up on like somebody's not accepting someone could have recently been killed in the earlier half of April or the latter half of March I feel like for some of you all who could have recently lost someone or this is the anniversary of you losing someone, I feel like someone's trying to connect with you. So if some of y'all could be having some very paranormal shit occurring in your damn house, all right? I'm also, okay, so some of y'all, your ancestor spirit is cautioning you when it comes to some type of collaboration. Like you're meant to do something on your own. And I feel like someone who could do the same work as you, I feel like someone, yeah, somebody, somebody's trying to get some damn clout. 
All right, so let's get into it. Let's pull a crystal, um, a crystal uh, wisdom healing oracle. Bitch, I don't know where the fuck my words went. Aries, Aries, a crystal is it? Aries, I'm useful. All right, or light, or light twenty three, honey. Okay, I ain't never seen this. This is a beautiful crystal. Or like number 24 I am hearing harmonizing coming into harmony I'm also hearing multi-dimensional beings some of you guys some of y'all could also be experiencing psychic attacks in like higher realms I'm also hearing higher knowledge higher magic all right or like 23 the soul connector or like 23 has a sedative effect on the mind stealing it so that the profound healing and conscious conscious connection with your soul and the universal mind in higher dimension occurs. You are a multi-layered soul on a course of accelerated spiritual growth. You came to earth to share your knowledge. You have an ability to move between different dimensions to anchor new vibrations into the earth plane. The slowness and seeming impossibility of this task have brought disillusionment and discontent. But do not despair. Raise your own consciousness and others will follow. Recognize that you are an integral and integral it's, girl, listen, integral part of humanity. Center yourself in inner peace and connect to your higher mind before making a decision. Beneficial contacts come through friends and family. It is not so much what you know as whom that counts now. And that includes higher beings. Aligning to as above, so below, as without, so within, leads to a sense of righteousness and immense well-being. The frequency of this stone is exceptionally high, good for the soul star and stellar gateway, cleanses and aligns all chakras, also good for um, Aquariuses and those with the soul path of reconnection of ego, soul, and higher consciousness, okay? So for some of you all, this could also be you needing to connect with your heart center, connect with your, um, I'm also hearing root chakra, it's something about your foundations reconnecting reca I heard recalibration I'm also hearing DNA activations and for some of you all I'm also hearing Merkaba some of you guys could also be experiencing or also causing someone else to have some type of Kundalini awakening some of y'all could also be channeling your sexual energy in order to create or in order to heal someone energetically from a distance as well alright I'm also hearing, okay, I'm hearing something about aligning your aligning with your destiny in the 5D or, or materializing something that you're building in the 5D. I'm also hearing the 12th dimension, aligning something that you're built that you're building within a higher realm to materialize or being uh, directed being directed on how to do so within your subconscious via someone who could have recently crossed over. It's a feminine, okay? For some of you all, it's a masculine with feminine qualities, all right? So we're going to pull from the intuitive deck, honey. All right. And let's see what the hell Aries got going on for the month of April, a.k.a. this motherfucking time, this ass reading. Okay. Again, happy birthday, Aries. I pray you guys got everything that you wanted and that you deserve. Aries, we've been going through some shit. All right. 2021 has been motherfucking. I can honestly say it's been a very blessed year, though. All right, I will not complain. Positivity only. So let's get into it. A lot of revelations, Aries. I'm also hearing clarity, closure. I'm also hearing the missing piece. Also, some of y'all may be getting a new call. Congratulations, my baby. All right. Watch the interest rate. I'm also hearing five years, not seven. All right, Aries. Exposure, okay? So, Aries, some of y'all could be exposing another fire sign or a fire sign is wanting to expose you. This individual... All right, yeah, some of y'all, somebody is avoiding doing some type of shadow work here. Some of y'all could also be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This exposure is going to be, um, I feel like someone's being exposed, but it's going to be discomforting, but it's for their higher good because I feel like someone's ego is being shattered here, all right? I feel like someone could have been focused on sex in the material realm, and I feel like someone's getting a hard lesson on the, fact, on the aspect of money can't buy you happiness, all right? You guys, you guys got moving states, okay? So some of you guys could be wanting to move states. 
For some of you all, I'm also hearing business expansion, also looking for particular properties. Some of you guys could definitely be into real estate, all right? I'm also picking up on investments, assets, okay? Big top, big, big, big focus on investments, all right? Especially when it comes to cryptocurrency. Be very careful when it comes to making some type of move around. I am hearing something regarding like waiting to June or holding off on some type of major investment, especially when it comes to like bitcoin and shit like that i don't really follow that market as much but what i will say is it's like your ancestors are avoiding you with losing some some big amount of money for those of you who are into stock trade i'm also hearing something having to do with like the crashing i heard the crashing of forex like some of y'all could actually foresee this some of you guys could also be teaching about account and finance as well as credit or building generational wealth as well okay you guys got career transitions okay so some of you guys could definitely be speakers in, in, in the uh, in the field of communication, all right. I'm also picking up on living authentically, living your truth, all right. Some of you all, I'm also picking up on living holistically, teaching other individuals how to do this or the benefits of doing this. Big emphasis on the aesthetic. Some of you guys could be wanting to get some type of um, uh, some type of like plastic surgery is what I'm hearing. This could also be liposuction, tummy tuck. I'm also hearing gastric, like someone's nervous about some type of procedure, all right? You're going to be fine. You guys got jewelry, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like someone could be giving you something because someone doesn't want... Someone feels, if someone energetically feels a disconnection, someone's also a prophetic dreamer. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with someone who's very intuitive, and this individual is trying to motherfucking play God and just try to delay or stop something from being exposed or stop something from being um, completely over. Like, someone doesn't want to lose access to you, okay? You guys got to save your damn money, all right? If you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, some of y'all could be in the place of really being stressed out about not being able to save your money. Some of you guys are... Or tired of being patient for somebody else to get their motherfucking shit together. You focusing on saving your damn money, Aries. Because some of you all don't feel safe in a relationship as it pertains to your stability. So you choosing to take your motherfucking stability in your own hands. And stop looking outside of yourselves. Come on, shadow work. Alright? You guys got STD alert. So if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's that cautioning on the uh, reconciliation. I feel like somebody's really trying to come in and ruin your life. And you wouldn't think that people do that shit. But I feel like for some of you all, you're, like, you're being cautioned when it comes to sexual interactions with others. For some of you all, I am hearing child's father. Some of y'all are someone's sex addiction. I'm also hearing gay for pay. Okay? So somebody could be tooting the motherfucking biscuits over, okay, for the <laughs> same sex. And they didn't want you to know. Well, here you go, Aries. You fucking know. Especially if you have a goddamn instinct. And I am hearing air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like someone could have been trying to silence you about this. Or someone's only standing in a relationship because I'm hearing she... Okay, I'm hearing she knows too much. He knows too much, okay? You guys got astrology. So some of you guys could definitely be astrologists, okay? Some of you guys could also be studying into... Um, into astrology again studying the stars studying the planets i'm also picking up on i'm hearing galactic okay i'm also hearing something about palladians okay some of you guys could be palladians at the bottom of the deck we got yes they are haters some of y'all is on the damn fence it's like i'm hearing trust what you feel okay trust what you feel some of y'all don't want to see that somebody's a motherfucking hater i'm literally hearing sleeping with the enemy all right someone it's like it's okay when you motherfucking doing good but people don't like for you to be doing better than they ass so it's a whole fucking problem move in silence aries because somebody is yeah y'all got some big pocket watching ass energy all right some of you guys also you're realizing that you have a connection with animals also synchronicities and messages will be coming um through animals i'm also picking up on something about animal totems okay some of you guys could also be writing a book regarding like connectivity and synchronicities of the universe i mean i'm seeing five 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 being significant to aries also ten ten and three 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 some of y'all you need to really check on your pet i am picking up on somebody's pet Somebody's pet is having some type of digestive issue. Like they can't pass, they can't pass their boo-boo, honey. Okay. You guys got Scamuel Jackson, Scamula Anderson. Okay. So be very careful when it comes to collaborating with somebody. I feel like, or investing in particular, like ask all the questions that you need be before you fucking like pay somebody or give somebody your motherfucking money. Because I definitely feel like every someone is like trying to get close to you to take something from you. I'm also hearing some of y'all could also be finding out that somebody got some type of loan in your name. 
Mm. I definitely see Aries getting a lawyer. All right. Focus on your craft, all right? Some of you guys are empaths. Some of you guys are being called to um, be spiritual healers, to be readers, okay? I'm also picking up on yoga. I heard yoga and I also heard Reiki healer, all right? For some of you all, um, it's, it's okay. So I heard distance. So be very careful that like, make sure that you know that somebody do what the fuck they say that they gonna, that they, that pretty much that they are credited or accredited to provide the services that they're providing. Because I feel like for some of you all, yeah, some some of y'all, somebody's getting exposed as a fraud, all right? And I feel like some of you all feel it, or you get like, th there's this like back and forth when it comes to like patronizing something, like, or, or, or like paying someone something, or some of y'all is like going back and forth with, in, in your head about something, all right? Some of you guys are discovering that you got a fucking jealous ass spouse against us uh, with energy, with the motherfucking enemy. Someone is attached to you because they see that she's like, someone feels entitled to your blessings, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Some of y'all, you letting someone go is the catalyst to you actually being able to tap into that love for yourself. This was about you truly becoming one with yourself and really connecting with your inner child and allowing those triggers to come to the surface, my baby, to heal, okay? Very healing energy with Aries, all right? You guys, you could be dealing with someone whose first name starts with U V W D Y O. S T N Z I Q E G. Okay, this individual could definitely be threatened by your gifts. Someone, someone wants to know how much you know, Aries. They go that motherfucking new car. Some of y'all definitely get a new car. Congratulations, gang. Boo. All right, so I'm gonna lay just a little bit of tarot. Give me like about five cards. Let's see. Give me some advice for Aries. Give me some advice for Aries. Well, in fact, show me what the fuck is this. Show me what is this, Aries. What is this, Aries? Yeah. Some of y'all definitely got an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like somebody's stalking and not talking. Someone also feels left out. I feel like somebody feels left out of, like, your financial blessing. Someone sees you living your motherfucking best life. And I feel like this person knows that they told their own ass. Someone's also afraid of being by themselves. So I feel like someone could also be, like, wanting to start something new. Somebody want to come out the cold with your ass. Some of y'all, there is a Leo. I feel like this person is watching you, but this person is going through some type of financial difficulty. If you're dealing with a Leo, I feel like somebody's like secretly planning the great escape, okay? I also pick up on somebody watching you internally conflicted because they're waiting on you to make the first move when it comes to communicating with their ass. I'm also picking up on a fire sign. Some y'all, something could be being exposed regarding a child or regard. oh yeah, something, yeah, something could definitely be being exposed about a child, okay? Some of y'all also... Who Aries, man? Some of y'all don't know if this child is yours. By this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly. Some of y'all feel as if an um, uh, air sign is trying to use a child to manipulate you. To, yeah, to remain still. Somebody's trying to be a blockage or a hindrance to your motherfucking love life. Are you moving forward? I'm also picking up on someone's spell work fucking backfiring, all right? Something's definitely being... Something's definitely being exposed here. It definitely could have to do with fucking family, okay? Some type of third-party situation as well as what I'm hearing within a family. Some of y'all could be finding out that someone did some fucking treacherous shit that's close to you. Some of y'all got possibly a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Like somebody, somebody did something. Somebody could have even slept with someone who you have a child with. I feel like somebody did something to try to hurt you, but ultimately it ended up backfiring and fucking their ass up. I feel like somebody did this whole ass shit and they're already in a commitment or something here. Somebody could have blue hair, turquoise hair. I'm also picking up on Aries. This could be you wanting to dye your hair blue or turquoise, okay? Yeah. But some of you all, you have... Yes, honey. Some of y'all definitely got some type of financial assistance coming in. Someone wants to cater to you, Aries. I feel like this could definitely be a Taurus, a Libra, a Pisces. Like, someone wants to take care of you, but this person don't know if you're going to be cool or come out of a bag on their ass when they express how they truly feel, okay? For some of you all, this is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like someone thinks that you're very beautiful, Aries. Someone holds you in high regard, but I definitely feel like if you are experiencing any type of blockages due to some, some type of, like, 
family interference or some type of fucking spill work interference that shit is definitely like the obstacles are being removed i feel like for some of you all this is out this was only happening to actually strengthen it strengthen your faith and your abilities and i'm sorry strengthen your faith and how you see your damn self how powerful that you for you to see how powerful that you truly were or that you truly are aries okay so i'm gonna Trying to try to shuffle these liberty ass little cards, but yeah, I definitely see something coming to a motherfucking end. This could even be a way of thinking, a way of being. Okay, some of you guys could also be abruptly moving away from a relationship. I'm also seeing some y'all could be secretly moving to another state. Some y'all could also be secretly uh, setting up shop to leave. Somebody gonna come home to an empty ass motherfucking house. Okay, somebody was giving you the motherfucking run around and, and and wanting you to wait for the, wait for them to get their shit together. That's pretty much. Some of y'all, yeah, somebody talk a good game, but their actions really don't align with their words, Aries. And you're just seeing the situation for what it is. I feel like you love this individual, but at the same time, you trust in your, yeah, you focus on your motherfucking coin. You're focusing on what it is that you built. And some of y'all, you're feeling like some a situation is becoming a liability to your business, and you're removing yourself. And in you doing so, the universe is blessing you with something beautiful, something material. I am hearing grants, okay? I'm also hearing uh, open up. Okay, I'm hearing receptivity. So every there's a need for you to be receptive to help from strangers because I am hearing Earth Angel encounters. All right, so who could Aries be dealing with? Who who is this uh, pertaining to? This reading. You guys got Capricorn. Okay. Some of y'all have, I heard, obsession, okay? Some of y'all got a Capricorn that's fucking obsessed with you. This individual and they fucking delusional ass head then, then, then told they self, this person could have, okay, so you guys got Leo Moon, all right? This person and they delusional ass head then told themselves that they belong in Aries' life, but they're not adding to Aries' life. Aries can't fucking grow here, so Aries the fuck out, all right? You guys got Capricorn Moon. This could be your placements or someone else's, all right? Okay, you guys got Virgo Moon, Sagittarius Moon. Okay, at the bottom we got Libra Rising. We also got Searching for Your Natal Chart. Someone could be searching for your natal chart to try to manipulate your motherfucking movements for it, Aries. Of course y'all know that shit don't fucking prosper. If you ain't got no motherfucking haters, you ain't popping, alright? Libra, okay? Sagitt I'm sorry, Aquarius Rising. Some of y'all definitely got a friend of me around, y'all. Someone wants to get close to you. I feel like someone, this could even be another Aries. Like, you're realizing that someone, like, you could really love this individual, but you're realizing that someone is not aligned with you. Some of y'all, this individual could be connected to you in a previous life, and this person could have done something deceptive to you in a previous life, and some of you guys are able, or you're gaining access to higher realms to be able to see this, okay? A lot of cosmic awareness, Gemini, okay? Yeah, somebody's scared of they motherfucking shit hitting the fan. Somebody's scared of what you know, Aries. You guys got Scorpio Moon. Taurus Moon. Leo Rising. Aquarius Moon. Pisces Moon. Tell these motherfuckers they just can't compete when they don't compare, Aries. Alright? So I'm going to pull one fucking um, Mystic, Mystic Rebel... Oracle deck card. They say, well, my, my ancestors say we're going to pull two, honey. All right? So you guys got to expand your perspective. Seeing a situation not from a space of um, you feeling guilty behind making a damn decision for you, but also understanding that you're the catalyst to someone, to someone stepping into their spiritual path or stepping into their spiritual awakening. I'm hearing Saturn, okay? I mean, y'all could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. And whatever the whatever it is that you were looking for to grow areas, if you wanted to know if someone was going to grow, if something was worth it, you guys got to know, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we got studying and learning, okay? So a lot of you guys, this definitely have to do with you tapping into your intuition, tapping into your gifts, also expanding um, expanding within your gifts by not putting all of your eggs in one basket, Aries. You're good at multiple things. And for some of you all, you're delving into each one to, to really like experience what feels right, what is fulfilling, what is your truth. And that shit looks good on you, boo. All right. So until next time, Aries, I love you all a long time. Mwah. Send you all love, many blessings, overflowing prosperity, my babies. And I will talk to y'all when I'm guided to again. Bye, boo.